said last night that he thought your shot was coming. Like, feel good to just kind of get up there and see. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Anything that you did differently just to kind of lock in, or is it just? Nope. Um, they felt the same as yesterday. Um, yesterday I had a couple ins and outs, so I knew today was going to be the day that it was going to fall. This is a team that was really shorthanded, obviously. Yeah. Um, when you look at you lost them at the start of the season, how and how far you've come as a team. What, just what are your thoughts right now at just the progress this group has made from day one to where you're at right now? I mean, they got a whole different team, so you can't we can't really grade from the beginning of the year to this to now. But um, I think we came out and handled handled it, um, especially myself. Um, you know, usually these games I come out and don't have no energy and look like I don't want to be here. And um, Finchy began on my ass about that the last couple of games, and so. Um, I tried to come out with the approach that I would take as if we was playing a, a team that was super good. So um, I think um, it was a great way of you know handling business tonight. Mm -hmm. I kind of mentioned a moment or earlier in the season that you like being coached hard. Like in a situation like that, what, what, where does that come from? You don't mind being coached hard? I mean, growing up, I used to play for my cousin. Um, his name was Tummy, Coach Tummy. Um, if I would do anything bad in school, like I would know that he's going to get on my ass. And majority of the time, he would like grab my helmet and like shake my helmet. I was growing up in a little football league, Coach Jermaine, Coach JP, Coach Tim. So like I've been getting coached hard my entire life. So, um, yeah, Finchy is nothing, you know, yeah, so. <laughs> Ant, I saw you talking to Monty Morris on the bench day and kept really connecting with him. He had a great game. What are you seeing from him as he comes along? He can really shoot the ball, um, and we need that. Um, you know, especially him and J-Mac, they shoot the ball really well. Um, so I just tell him, you know, trust it. If you open, let it fly and don't think about it. And, um, you know, I was just telling him about, like, the defensive, the, the switching uh, back screens coming out the paint and little things like that, so, you know. And how nice is that for a game like tonight, getting players into the game who don't usually get in there, you're supporting everybody. How important is that long term for this team? I mean, super important because those guys support us 82 games out of the year and then the playoffs come and they, they standing up and pointing and celebrating. So, I mean, you got to return the favor if you get the chance for sure. And with uh, where have you guys grown this season the most that's going to matter in the playoffs? Um, that's a great question. Um, uh, that's a good question. Um, I probably would say, I think trusting Rudy. I think that's the main thing. Like all, however many players on the team that plays, me, Nikhil, Mike, Slow Mo, Jay, Nas, Cat, we all trust Rudy. Like together, like we trust to hit him in the pocket. We trust to, when we call a post up, we trust he gonna catch it and do his thing. Catch it in the pocket, make the one more. Um, trust him at the free throw line, you know, just little things like that. And um, it goes a long way and he's been playing his ass off. So I think, as far as everybody, where we've grown at is just trusting Rudy throughout the whole game. Yeah, and, and where have you seen Rudy earn that trust offensively? Just because it seems like he's played so much better. Um, I mean, he, he he comes up to you and let you know, like, <laughs> trust me, like, uh, hit me in the pocket. Trust me, I got you. And uh, I told him one game, like, bro, I'm not gonna hit you in the pocket right now. And then he was like, sack, trust me, I got you. And I hit him, and he made a kick out, and we came together, and we was like, yeah. And then one time, the Denver game, a couple games ago. Um, I come off the screen and he's open, and I'm like, what, bro? <laughs> I come off the screen and he's open. And um, I'm like, I make a move on somebody and then throw the oop, and like we, we talk to each other. And I'm like, bro, I got you, bro, trust me. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's there. He's like my brother, man. We talk all the time. He takes me, we takes all the time. And yeah, I think everybody pretty much got 100% trust him now at this point. And he makes the right play every time. And did you see Jaden block his brother's shot? Yeah, hell yeah, because it was on me. Um, I, I blew the, I blew the switch, and Jaden had my back and blocked it for sure. They they tried to call a foul, but they got it right. There were times in the past, Dan, where if you didn't shoot well, this team was not going to win. Mm -hmm. now, what was it like these last five games? Or man, so it was like? beautiful, man. Uh, I think I was at home talking to my my boys about it. Like, man, I'm not playing well. I'm not playing my best as far as shooting the ball, but and my teammates still got my back. They we still winning the game without me, and um, yeah, that's that's a great feeling. You seem to take it pretty hard when fans didn't get free Chick-fil-A. Did that hurt? Yeah, man, because I wanted some. I mean, <laughs> you go. Yeah, yeah. I'll go get some food. Get Chick -fil -A. Who don't want free Chick-fil-A? Yeah. I remember I couldn't afford Chick-fil-A, so I can't wait to get some free food. <laughs>